Sometime around the year 2006, I was reading a book about money and I read something that changed my life forever and that is over $4 trillion roam around the world every day. Now think about that, over $4 trillion exchange hands yesterday. How do I expect this to change your life? Well, let me try and use a simple analogy. Imagine you were told that 70% of our planet is made up of water. What does it tell you about water? Let's assume something here. Let's pretend all the water in the world is drinkable but some people are thirsty. Now think about this, 70% of our planet is filled with water. Let's pretend they are drinkable water but most people are still thirsty. You'll agree with me that something must be very wrong if the above situation happens and yes when it comes to money something is very wrong and I think I have some ideas about a few things that are wrong which I'll try to share with you in today's video. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Money is scarce. I started this video by telling you the story of one of the things that changed my life and it was very simple. I read in a book in the year 2006 that over $4 trillion exchange hands every day. So what in particular do you think changed my life in this simple fact? Well, for the first time in my life I had the conviction that money is too much in the world. I mean if $4 trillion roam around the world every 24 hours all I need to do was to figure out how a very few percentage of that will be coming to me every day. I don't want to pretend as though this was simple arithmetic but I need to get you to see this. One of the reasons why most people are poor is because they believe that money is scarce. The one sign that shows that you have a poor person's mindset is if you believe that money is scarce. When growing up in a village, I was always afraid of asking my father for money because whenever I asked my father for money, his default answer was, where is the money? My father also usually told me that I called money as though he was harvesting it on the tree. I don't know the environment you grew up in but I know that most people in the world grew up in an environment where they were made to believe that money is scarce. Our parents told us that money is not harvested on the tree, that money is not water and that money is essentially difficult to make. My father told me that I am too loose whenever I call money. To him, I opened my mouth too wide and called a ridiculous amount. Now think about a world where 70% of the planet is water yet most people are thirsty. That's the perfect analogy for money. Money is too much in the world yet most people don't have enough of it. The truth is that until you strongly believe that money is too much in the world, you may never have enough of it. So how can you start believing that money is too much in the world? Remember that $4 trillion roam around the world every day. If you can understand that $4 trillion roam around the world every day, then you can stop having a scarcity mentality. Some people think, you see, the reason why I'm poor is that some evil capitalists have taken all the money. Well, that's the same mindset I'm condemning right now. You see, when you believe the reason why you're poor is that certain individuals have taken all the money, what you're essentially saying is that there are only a few dollars in the world and Bill Gates and other evil capitalists have taken most of it. That's like saying I'm thirsty because certain greedy individuals have taken all the water to themselves. No, nobody is powerful enough to take all the water to himself. Yes, a lot of people are greedy. Yes, a lot of capitalists are greedy but guess what? Four trillion dollars roam around the world every 24 hours and no matter how greedy some people are, there is still a lot of money you can make. A million reasons to be poor. I was born by two poor people who shouldn't have married each other in the first place. My father's genotype is AS and my mother's genotype is AS too. Unfortunately for me, I happened to be a victim of sickle cell. Growing up in poverty and terrible sickness was just a part of my odd childhood. Added to that was ignorance and superstition in my family. Needless to say, I wasn't able to attend school as often as my mates while growing up and even when I was healthy enough to be in school, my parents could afford only the free government schools. Looking at myself at age 17, everything that could ever be wrong with anyone's childhood was wrong with mine. I had a million reasons to give up about life and just live an average life but I have one reason not to do that 
and that one reason is it's going to be my pain and regret if I fail in life. Here is the thing: poor people know a million reasons why they are poor. Rich people know a single reason why they must be rich. It's all about what you decide to focus your attention on. The neuroscientist tells us about reticular activating system, and it simply means that your brain will always concentrate on whatever you ask him to concentrate on. Your eyes will always see whatever you ask them to look for. So, if you decide to see the reasons why you are poor, that's a simple instruction for your brain. Your brain is so smart that it will look for a million reasons why you are poor. You'll start seeing how the government policies are stopping you, how your employer is evil, how the economy is bad, and how everything works against you. If, however, you instruct your brain to look for the reason why you must get rich, then you can start seeing other people who are just as disadvantaged as you are. And yet, overcome every obstacle to become wealthy. If you tend to see reasons why you are poor, you have a poor person's mindset. One way you can deal with this is by listening to inspiring motivational stories and speeches, which make you see possibilities instead of obstacles. Our team just launched a channel that can help you achieve this. We call it Hunt TV, and you can subscribe in the description box. What will be will be. As many people in this channel know. I am an African, and in Africa, the definition of faith for many people is what will be. Poor people tend to believe that those who become rich just happen to have some luck. I have an explanation about this from my life's experience, and I'll tell you a part of the story I told one of my female friends who needed me to tell her about my life. While telling her about my life, I told her that at a point in my life, things started happening so fast that it's like magic. I mean, everything I touched became money. And that was a bit of luck, but there's something else you have to understand here, and that is, for eight years from the day I started as an entrepreneur, every single thing I did failed. So, how do you explain this common experience of anyone who has ever achieved meaningful success? I think I have one idea, and that is, luck follows courage and commitment. If you think that those who became rich just happened to be in the right place at the right time, you have a poor person's mindset. Because behind the luck that everyone sees are thousands of hours of faith, commitment, and courage. Yes, luck does happen. For instance, the night I discovered the idea that changed my life was just an ordinary night. The insight I got, which gave me my first breakthrough in business, would never have come, and that was a bit of luck. But that luck wouldn't have been possible to if not because I had spent years after years preparing for that day. Here is a summary of this video. If you believe that money is scarce, that's a sign that you have a poor person's mindset. If you know the reasons why you are poor and don't know the reasons why you must be rich, you have a poor person's mindset. If you believe that those who are rich just happen to be lucky and you're waiting for luck to happen, you probably won't find any luck coming to your living room because luck lives in the desert and only courageous people go there to look for it. If you love videos that inspire, challenge, and encourage you to look for your luck, then join our other channel called Hunt TV. Look at the description box to join the Hunt TV. We love you.